So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back uh, to the videos of uh, statistics, applied statistics with R and R Studio. I would like to show you how we can uh, analyze data and uh, uh, get a fitted model with confidence interval on it. I will use uh, real life data, yield data from a biochemical reaction. I will name it D because I don't want to type two long names. And you can see here that uh, Celsius will be the temperature and yield of the biochemical reaction will depend on temperature. These are the data. I was able to read it. And if just plot them, D Celsius, the temperature is on the x-axis, the data yield is on the y-axis, we can see that, of course, there is some relationship. Uh, for a while, increasing temperature will increase the yield, but after that, maybe not. This I would like to use to show you how the linear model and uh, the model and its plotting works. First, uh, we can make uh, an easy uh, understanding that the y-axis will be the data table yield parameter and the x-axis will be the data table Celsius parameter. This way, in the future, I will just refer to x and y data. It will be much more easy. So, the heart of uh, the plotting will be a new function. Of course, the plot function already exists, but I would like to create a new function uh, to be a comfortable solution. I will call it linplot. So, it will be a function of multiple parameters. I will need the x and y coordinates because it is a scatter plot. Please keep in mind that what I type here are capital letters. The, capital and small letters are uh, different in uh, R. So we have here small letters, this is here capital letters, and I will include a model parameter, model frame, and the three dots means that any additional parameter I would like to add, uh, I can list there, I will use it in the plot command if any. So plot data first, and I will say plot x and y uh, data together with blue color. So the color will be blue and the additional parameters come here. If I want, I can add the title to the chart. Uh, I can add level to the x-axis, y-axis. It can be any other. And now I will show the trend line will be very easy because AB line function will show it according to the model with red color. So the initial, uh, what I can do from any modeling is with the AB line, I can get a simple linear model. But how is it working? I cleared uh, the console to have more space here and the linear model of y parameter against the x. So first is the depending, second is the independent parameter. We can see here what is the intercept and what is the slope. Usually we use the summary, the text report of this linear model, because here you can see the coefficients, statistical test and the quality of the curve fitting. 0 0.6 is not bad, so yeah, as a determination coefficient, so there is some relationship. And here you can see that the lin plot function already exists, what I created. So if I create it again with x, y parameters and the linear model y against the x, it is showing the trend line, the red trend line. Uh, for sure, uh, higher values typically has have higher yield, but uh, it doesn't really fit to the data. It could be even better. So, but uh, what I would like to uh, show you today, how to add uh, the confidence interval uh, to the model or to the data. 
To achieve this, uh, I will replace this trend line function. First, collect data for trend line. I can do it with the predict function. In the help, if I get the predict function for the linear model, you can see here that it has the option of interval and I can choose the prediction or confidence interval. So I make a temporary table, a temporary list with the predict function based on the model, my model. And the interval will be prediction. This way, I will have three columns in the temporary table. The first column uh, will be the predicted value. So YP, the predicted value, will be the temporary table first column. All rows from the first column. After that, the second and the third will be the confidence interval uh, minimum maximum value. But these confidence intervals are connected to the data, the individual data, how they are scattered around the model. So the data 95% interval, confidence interval, minimum data 95% confidence interval, maximum values are here. And now I should be able to plot it, but be very careful that it can happen that one X value have multiple Y values. And it can also happen that uh, maybe uh, the order of the measurement is different. So it can happen that I measured high temperature, low temperature, uh, I made a randomized uh, experiment. Then uh, connecting these lines will be a zigzag in the result. So I have to order my data. I will make a temporary data frame with all parameters together. X predicted value, data 95%, uh, minimum data 95%, maximum, and then I order it. It will be the temporary table still again with all columns, but the rows will be selected according to the order of X first and then YP. So if multiple uh, Y values, uh, yield values are uh, measured for one temperature, then I will order it according to it, still the remainings. So we are ready now to draw the trend line. I will use the lines command for it. The temporary table X parameter I will use because it is already ordered correctly. Then the temporary table predicted value I will use with red color. And the default line is uh, solid, but uh, I will uh, make it uh, line type solid. And here, this is the function. Okay, you can see here the total function, every single together. And how is it working? So the lean plot, now you can see that identical to the previous, small difference. What is the difference? When we are running out of data, the line breaks. So the trend line is only drawn from the first data to the last data in the range, not before and not after. You can say it is not correct, but uh, I prefer this way because the other is only uh, a prediction outside of the range. Now the model is correct uh, in this range. It was fitted. Still cannot see the confidence interval. So I will add data 95% confidence interval minimum. Uh, the model should be uh, red, so the data will be blue. Not solid by dotted line. And 
I would like to have the maximum as well. So you can see here that I gradually build uh, the model. It still fits the screen. Now it will show us the confidence interval of the individual data too. Now two blue uh, dotted lines appeared uh, above and below the red one because they are the 95% confidence interval of the data. It means that 5% of the data as extreme values outliers can be outside of the range and at least 95% of the data is expected to be inside. So if the curve fitting works well, you can see here that the majority of data, more than 95% of the data, must be between the two blue dotted lines. Okay, but we still don't know uh, what is the confidence interval for the red line, the model one. I can get it with the confidence keyword. So I will get new prediction with confidence. Okay, you can see that I use copy paste because I'm lazy to type. And now the confidence interval 95% minimum and maximum value will be the new table second and third parameter. Of course, now I have to include it into the data frame too as well. Minimum confidence interval 95% maximum. And here, I'm ready to show the confidence interval for the model as well. Just confidence interval. I change the name of the parameter I show from the table and the color will be red. Red for the model, blue for the data. Now you can see that I changed the function. Okay. And now it fits one screen, almost one screen, this long function. And now as I use the function, my new linplot function, yes, I get the confidence interval of this line as well. So the confidence interval for the model and the confidence interval for the individual data. Now I have everything. Why I like very much uh, this type of uh, uh, drawing? Because uh, it has a lot of useful information, very visual, and we can use it in uh, reporting. But uh, this model, uh, linear model function, knows more than maybe you expect. Because if I add a second power of the x parameters, you will be surprised that I will fit what? second order polynomial function, a parabolic curve. You can see here how a parabolic curve is fitted to the data. So if we expect any optimum value from the maximum value of the parabolic, we can estimate what can be the optimal temperature to get the maximum yield of our data. And you can see here that these are the three dots for uh, extra uh, plotting parameters. Now I can edit x axis uh, level should be temperature in Celsius and the y axis title will be yield percentage. And then you can see that even the captions are changing for the axis and now it is ready to export and I can save the chart for reporting. So thank you very much for your attention. I hope you will find it useful. Have fun with statistics.